Tuesday edition of the Voices of Montana, Senator Roy Brown joins us. Roy is a uh, candidate for the office of governor. And uh, one more time, I want to remind those of you who are uh, running for statewide office, for heaven's sakes, get in touch with us. Let's, whether it's for re-election or this is your first run at it, uh, get in touch with us here so we can uh, get your information, your platform uh, on the air, and uh, allow the listeners to uh, to quiz you. Uh, Roy, I want to take care of a couple of calls here uh, before we go too much farther. Chris is calling from Kalispell. Chris, you have a question about taxes? Yeah, Senator, uh, this is how I've run my business for 40 years. When you outgo exceed your income, your upkeep's your downfall. If you want to be governor, you want to put that on your desk and, and remind yourself, uh, as you just put, there's $1.4 billion in surplus. Does that include, does that include the uh, interest that they're getting off of that and the investments uh, that they're getting off that as well? That's far too much money f- to be sitting there in a coffee can under the governor's desk. That money should be returned back to us, right? And the small businesses that you want to help, we are the ones that will do that. If we apply that principle uh, in our businesses here in the state of Montana, there will be plenty of money, more money in surplus. But when you have that money in surplus, then what do you do like this governor did? You hire more employees. We don't want more employees. You see, you, you've got to under, help us understand, you know, if you want to help us as a small business grow, you've got to give us our money then we won't be using our credit card, hopefully, not that much. So there's things like logging that you used to get money, a lot of money off of logging and a lot of money off, off of gambling, and we kill both of them. Absolutely, we, we replace these, we kill uh, industries, and then we don't replace them with something more uh, economical or, or smart. So we're not being smart in this state. Well, Armageddon economically is on our door, and you know that. So if you really want to do that, that's what you really need to do. Well, thanks, Helpful. thanks, Chris, I, and I appreciate that. And I wish that that money was in a coffee can under the governor's desk so we could give it back. But unfortunately, it all got spent. Uh, that money and uh, the $1.4 billion of extra money that the taxpayers sent to Montana and to Helena all was spent on new, new programs, new buildings, uh, new th- new employees, and, um, you know, then in, instead... Um, we have big, bigger government instead of better government. Let's uh, get another phone call here. Julie is calling from Helena. Julie, thanks for your call. You're on the air. Hi there, Roy. Hi there, Dave. And greetings to the brightest audience in Montana. Um, I have a question for Senator Brown. Um, I worked in a car dealership, and, and, you know, I was really insulted. Actually, I thought it was extremely hypocritical that um, Brian Schweitzer was saying how much he supported Montana, and then he just drove right down to Dave Smith and bought his car. And I just wondered... In Idaho, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, um, you know, that was just a slap in the face to all of us that are employed in Montana because um, I think you had to lead by example and not by... Um, you know, just going where the best deal is because, you know, there's, uh, there's, a, there's a lot of us that believe in keeping our money here. And I just wanted to know, Senator Brown, if you would commit to purchasing your vehicles in Montana. Well, you know, and I always have. And, and, and really, I, and thanks for that, Julie, because, you know, what I have done, in fact, I just bought a new pickup and I went down to Denny Menhold Chevrolet right here in Billings, Montana, and I think I got a pretty good deal there. And I think... Anywhere in Montana, you can get a pretty good deal without going out of state. So that's where I'll be buying all my vehicles. Thank Julie, you. do you remember the uh, the answer to that criticism that the governor made? He says, I'll, I'll buy where the price is uh, the best. Uh, and, and when he said that, about three car dealers said, every one of us can uh, sell that car for the same amount of money or even less. Absolutely. You know, I, and then the, I think I got a great deal. So. That's a little, little plug there for uh, yeah, Denny Menhold. <laughs> Roy, thank you very much for helping us out a little bit. The survey I found uh, very, very interesting, and it pretty much follows some of the things that you've been saying. Mm-hmm. So I, I guess you, you would fall into the majority of the uh, people that responded here. You bet. Okay. Senator Roy Brown, thank you very much. We've got to get out of here. We've got to make room for uh, what comes up next on this station. I want to remind people.